This past Monday was uh, Earth Day, and all of this Earth Week, we have been putting a spotlight on different ways that the International Space Station is used to study our planet. Astronauts on the station, of course, have been taking impromptu pictures of Earth since they arrived more than a dozen years ago, as well as getting particular images that are requested by scientists on the ground who are documenting the state of different locations on the ground. There are also pictures taken by cameras that are on board the station, yet are controlled by people who are on the ground. And in this case, it's young people, middle school and college students, who are working together to take part in space station programs, as well as the study of Earth. The investigation is called EarthCam. It was founded by Sally Ride. It flew on shuttle missions in the late 1990s and has been operating on the International Space Station since Expedition 2. The photographs that it takes and posts on its website are captured by a camera that looks down through a window at the Earth. The targets for those photos are determined by participating middle school students at schools not only across the country, but all around the world. Today we're going to learn a little more about EarthCam from the point of view of those who are participating. Joining me on the phone is Dave Curry. Dave is an eighth grade earth and space science teacher at Holland Middle School in Holland, Pennsylvania. Dave, how long have you had your students participating in Earth Camp? Hi, Pat. Uh, thanks for having me today. We learned about Earth Cam first uh, from a fellow teacher in um, 2006, in January of 2006, and I've been an active participant uh, since then. I've been using it every year in my classroom. What was it that attracted you to it? Middle school is really uh, an age where we try to hook kids on science and we try to have them actively involved in the learning with hands-on activity, minds-on activity. So I was really attracted by the fact that kids were actually involved doing something themselves and they would see a result from that. It's one thing for a teacher to, to think that your students would enjoy this. I, I wonder if in practice you found that they have. I have. In fact, the kids, when I tell them we're going to the library to get on the computer to do Earth Cam, I hear, yes, all right, and like, awesome, because they're, they're excited to go to the library and, and do this. Uh, it's sure beats sitting in the classroom and maybe uh, listening to lecture or taking notes, which uh, tunes them out. So this really tunes them into learning and gets them involved with the science. Uh, speaking only on behalf of one former middle school student, I, I can think that some of them might be a little intimidated by the idea that they're going to take part in the space program. They actually find it hard to believe that they're actually controlling uh, a camera on the International Space Station. They're familiar with Google Earth and they know how to look at images from space. But when I tell them that the picture that they're going to take is is almost live, it's like right now, um, the time will be known when their picture is taken, that just brings a whole level of realism to it that makes it uh, even more interesting, I think, to them. And, and they tell me this. Well, I'm going to ask you to hand off the phone right now and see if we can't get a couple of them to tell the rest of us uh, how, they, how they do it. We're going to hear now from a couple of uh, Dave Curry's students about their participation in Earth Camp. Uh, first on the line with me is uh, Allison Castronovo. Uh, Allison, how many Earth Camp missions have you participated in? Um, I've participated in four Earth Camp missions this year. Four this year? Yeah. Does, uh, so it's, uh, you've been doing it? constantly. Yeah. <laughs> How do you decide what targets on the Earth you want to take pictures of? Well, at first I looked at Google Earth and I saw all of like the oceans and the beaches and I was I thought to myself, "Hey, that looks really cool." So, I tried to find anywhere where it was on a, a coastline. All right. Well, I got you to uh, share one of your pictures with us that we can show everybody else right now. I want to ask you to describe what it is that we're seeing in this in this picture. Well, in this picture, it's pretty much a coastline of New Zealand, and there's very crystal blue water. And if you look to the to the right side of the picture, there's a large mountain range, and um, next to it, a bunch of trees which actually when you look very close at it, I discovered this when after I saw the picture, there's a, like a strange pattern in the trees. And you can see all the detail of like the towns. So it sounds as though 
you found what you were looking for. Exactly, and I also found more because I never expected all of that detail. Very interesting. Let me ask you to hand the phone to your classmate who's, uh, who's there with you. We're going to get one more perspective on what it's like to be part of the EarthCam experiment. Uh, on the phone with us now, another Holland Middle School student, Andrew Harmon. Uh, Andrew, how did you decide what it is you want to shoot? Well, I decided my target when I was looking around on the map, and when I saw it first, I just thought it was a small island off the coast of Egypt. But when I took a closer look, I saw it was very rugged terrain, so it made me think. So I looked it up on the Internet and found out it had volcanic activity, so I took the picture. Now, we're showing the picture to everyone now who's, uh, who's watching us, and, and I want to ask you to describe it, because I've looked at this now for a day or two, and I'm really not sure what I'm seeing here. Well, you're basically seeing uh, lots of erosion from streams and stuff like that, and to the left of the picture, you're probably seeing either volcanic rock or plant growth to the left side of the island. So th this is all one island with different areas as opposed to a variety of islands? Yeah. Okay. Did you learn, no, let me ask it a better way. What did you learn from seeing this picture that you had wanted to see? Well, I learned about this remote island off the coast of Egypt and that there was a volcanic eruption on it in 1969. And that's what it looks like now. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Andrew, thank you. If you would hand the phone back to Mr. Curry uh, for just a moment. Uh, yep. Dave, you had told me earlier as we were talking that virtually all of your students who've taken part in EarthCam have been enthusiastic about it. I, I wonder from the perspective that you have of seeing them both before they were involved in this and afterwards, do you see that their participation has had a benefit for them beyond just the cool pictures they end up with? Absolutely. Uh, it really takes away learning out of the textbook and makes it real to life in the real world. So when I have the students uh, go online and select pictures using latitude and longitude, sometimes they make mistakes and they put, you know, north latitude instead of south latitude. And the EarthCam interface is really nice. It lets you know that there's something wrong with the request. So. From their mistakes, they actually learn about latitude and longitude. They learn about topography. They learn, as you as you heard, about erosion, volcanic activity. So it teaches them all kinds of things that are normally part of the curriculum that I would normally teach, but it actually teaches them by doing, which is really fantastic. Dave, I want to thank you and uh, Allison and Andrew for uh, sharing your story about EarthCam with us. Thank you very much. Uh, and let everyone know that the, uh, the current EarthCam mission that's been operating during this Earth Week uh, does run through this weekend. Uh, anybody can get a look at the pictures that have been returned by this investigation, and teachers can find out more about how they can get their own classes involved by uh, going online to the EarthCam website, the address that you see there on the screen, earthcam.ucsd.edu, that's University of San Diego. Uh, you can go on to their website or to the uh, website for uh, Sally Ride Science, which is sallyridescience.com, the, uh, the uh, organization that is uh, operating the EarthCam investigation. Either of those places can make, you, uh, make available for you more information.